welcome back guys this morning um, I'm gonna go over replacing a thermal protect on these water heaters this is a domatic water heater we've used them for God, probably two years in our camps it's a newer product and there's things about it that I really like and then there's things that I really don't like about it and so today I'm gonna go through replacing the thermal cutoff which seems to be really problematic with this water heater it's it's a safety feature um, that is a really good thing to help from burning down your trailer and having all sorts of issues but it's also has exposed some issues with this water heater and and the issue that I'm seeing with it is the way that this is designed there's just if you get any wind at all it ends up blowing that flame out okay you get a good breeze that'll go through there and it'll bring maybe i'll open this so i can show you what will happen is your breeze will come in through here this is where your burn tube is it'll blow that flame back out okay and it'll end up burning that thermal protect out which what it'll do is it'll just cut power off to everything so your water heater won't work so I'll do a cutaway showing you what that thermal protect is, what it looks like when it's burned out, and then we'll go through how to replace it. So anyways, that's what we're doing today. So like I said, this is a domatic water heater. Okay, so it's a six gallon. This is a gas only, a WHG or 6GA. Okay, I'll go over it. So what I really like about this water heater, as you can see this drain plug, this one's been drained. Okay, but it's really accessible, whereas a lot of your older water heaters, this burn tube come right across the front. So it was almost impossible to get anything in there. And I hated that. And so they redesigned this to where it's an all aluminum tank, no anoid rod needed. Um, but yeah, really accessible there. But then, like I say, the issue that I have with this is it's super susceptible to wind. It'll blow out and yeah, it'll... I mean, it'll relight itself, but it's super annoying because it'll keep blowing out and it it needs a, I don't know, I'm assuming that there'll be a recall coming on them, which I would hope so. But anyways, what happens is that wind will blow through that burn tube, okay? And then it'll come back up through here. Now you can see this little thing right here. Okay, you can see how that shrink wrap around it is melted what'll happen is this will get hot and it pulls apart to where it'll connect all the power disconnect all the power from the water heater so this water heater if i was to go in turn it on it won't do anything now i'm going to tell you this too if you're out on the road and this happens and you don't have a replacement you can bypass this what you're going to have to do is if you pull this off Okay, you can see that little spade connection. Okay, you can pull this other end off and it has a female spade connection. If you just put this directly back on there, that will bypass that. Now you can see this is clicking, trying to light, it must be on. So that'll bypass that. Okay, that'll get you by, but I wouldn't run it very long that way. I mean, like I say, if you're in a crunch or whatever, you're gonna want hot water. You can bypass it that way until you can get your replacement. Now the replacements, they're fairly cheap. You can see this is one here. It'll come with cables and stuff. That's the number on it. But it's a super easy fix. You just, like I say, pull them off, put it back on and you're good to go. But if you are in a pinch, you can bypass that. So anyways, I hope that this is helpful because I'm, I'm guessing if you do have this water heater, you've run into this issue or will run into this issue. So anyways, hope this is helpful. Um, kind of a boring video, but I think it'll save you guys a lot of headache in the long run. So anyways, thanks for watching. Easy as that.